Good morning, welcome back in your sport. Uh, Sascock has been in the news for all the wrong reasons recently. The recent sacking of CEO Tubby Reddy has highlighted the administrative failings of the National Olympic body. But as Ronald Masinda reports, a South African weightlifter has overcome his disappointments with Sascock and has now turned to CrossFit to change his life. I've been told that uh, I'm, 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 we're going for trials at the African Champs and uh, when we come back six days before the team was announced, I was told that, no, I'm too old. Which actually, it's, it's, to me, it's nonsense. Greg Shushu has endured many setbacks in weightlifting. Having set his sights on representing his country at the Olympics, Shushu was snubbed by Saskok when the Olympic body deemed as him being too old to participate in the 2012 Summer Games. His Olympic dreams were shattered once again four years later. With scant financial backing in the sport of weightlifting, he couldn't afford to raise funds to attend Olympic trials in Cameroon. The 37-year-old has put those disappointments behind him and thrown himself into a new passion, CrossFit. Thankful, you know, like we've got CrossFit now also, which was the best thing for weightlifting for weightlifters all over the world, because that's where now, uh, you know, there's a lot of money that side. You can become a coach, you can even become an athlete at the same time. You know. Greg Shushu was inspired to take up weightlifting by Arnold Schwarzenegger, the famous actor and multiple Mr. Olympia winner's chisel physique motivated Shushu to bulk up in 1997. He never expected that old school passion to lead him to CrossFit. Shushu says he never earned a salary as a weightlifter, which made it difficult to support his wife and two children. Although he didn't want to divulge on what he'll be earning in CrossFit, Shushu says he's much happier now. A hold of South African records in both the 137 kilogram snatch and 161 kilos clean and jerk categories he is now heading to Saudi Arabia for two years to coach CrossFit. As we all know, sports in South Africa, it's basically not all sports, but minor sports. Um, you totally don't make anything from it. So um, it was a blessing basically in disguise. And I will hope and I wish basically most of the weightlifters will actually try and, and you know, and, and be just a bit open-minded and, you know, try, try CrossFit. CrossFit has blazed a trail overseas with its success, now seeing more athletes taking up the fitness sport. The Northcliffe CrossFit in Johannesburg is a gym that would welcome weightlifters of the caliber of Shushu. Weightlifting is a high strength, high skill um, sport um, and the numbers that you need for Olympic weightlifting as a sport are incredibly high and to compete there at a, at, a, at a national level, let alone an international level, your numbers need to be exceptionally high. Whereas in CrossFit, because, um, because there's so many more people that do the sport, your numbers don't have to be as high. ENCA's mixed martial arts pundit Simon Stevens says the phenomenon of CrossFit can be compared to MMA and that the cross-pollination of techniques, like using weightlifting in CrossFit, will help create more opportunities for athletes across different sporting codes. Do we, Ronald, have to be so possessive over some of those individual disciplines where can't we just give them over? So, for example, if, if the die-hard fans of boxing are so protective over pure pugilism, is it that much of a stretch for them to see included into mixed martial arts as a particular subset or a particular discipline that's involved with MMA? If, if weightlifters can't give up the weightlifting discipline and, and see it taken to new heights within CrossFit, was well, that such a bad thing? Because at the end of the day, we're competing with some major sporting codes around this world for sponsors, for commercial revenue, for uh, broadcast deals. The South African Weightlifting Federation is one of many organizations that rely on Saskok and a few other stakeholders for financial and moral support. It's difficult to, to do the sport professionally. However, with, with, with more support, it is possible. Uh, we had professional athletes in the past. Our history has shown that if, if, our athletes, if our athletes train professionally, 
they can be a force uh, uh, worldwide. Yeah, you've got to do what you've got to do, especially if you're a sportsman in South Africa. With the Commonwealth Games around the corner, Shushu is hoping to represent his country for the last time on the international stage. His is a story of an athlete who, despite some crushing put-downs in his chosen discipline, has managed to maintain his passion for sport and put food on the table. Ronald Masinda, Johannesburg.